This is a tutorial on how to use the Choosy website. Um, it's going to be divided into, into two sections. The first is how to edit web pages, and the second is how to edit or create big news articles. So the first thing you need to do is go to choosy.org slash text pattern and sign in. And then you're going to go to the the write, writing um, place page. Um, and so to write a big news article, you have to go to section one um, and label it as news or category one news section news and category two big news and then type your article and then um, when you're done you can either save it as a draft or hit publish. I'm going to indicate where you do that in a minute. Um the the programming language that you type in here is called text pattern and I'm indicating where you can get more help about using text pattern it's right on the side there and that's how you can do links etc um, and insert images um, which I'm going to show I think next now I'm demonstrating um, the options about publishing and then pressing the publish link at the bottom and you can edit the time you post it um, and add a uh, summary of what you're posting. Next place, the next window is the articles uh, window, and there you can see all the uh, uh, previously published articles, and those are also the web pages. Basically, you can search for a web page to find something. Um, I think I do an example in a minute. Yeah, so now I'm I'm editing, a com I'm adding a communications link, and I'm demonstrating how you can edit it and then hit save. Now I'm demonstrating how to do images. Um, that's where you upload an image, and this is where it appears. You're given each image is given a number, and you can remember that, and that's used to link it later. So remember that that one's 22. Now we're going to go to an article and demonstrate how that is displayed. And there's a T in that, um, and that stands for thumbnail, because you don't want to post the full-size image. And I'll demonstrate how big the full-size image is in a minute. So that's how big the full-size image is. Um, so you don't want that, so that's why you use the T. Now I'm demonstrating that the image is the size of the thumbnail. You can do a bunch of more advanced features like this um, music player. Um, and to do that, you have to go to the uh, database for the website. And this you won't need to do very often. I'm not sure if the person watching this right now, if you are going to need to to do this. But this is the actual files, and um, you can put like, for example, JavaScript. That's the JavaScript for the uh, for the music player, and you can upload um, files for advanced features you want to add. So that would be choosy.org/js/slash the files is how you would link to those. And that's also how you edit the banner. Um, and you do that by naming the file um, choosy banner. I I'm looking for the banner right now, but it's actually just in the root folder called choosy banner, I believe. And you want to name the banner, um, the current banner, something like choosy banner old, so you don't lose that one. Um, and then add, upload the new one with the same name and that will automatically become the banner. 
um, for the Choosy events calendars. Um, it's more about making sure that the calendars are all shared with the Choosy comms, I mean with communication VPs for each chapter. And um, and that's just a year to year, making sure that, that the calendar gets shared, kind of a deal, more than text pattern. Another thing is that, um, this link is broken. Um, there's sometimes link issues. Um, I'm trying to demonstrate how you can link a PDF and it's going to show up as a little applet and that's automatic. See this on the right of the screen? Um, I'm, I'm still trying to find the, <laughs> the Camp Choosy webpage. Um, but there's actually I'm going to realize this in a second. Oh, there it is. Um, this is an example of, it's just a link PDF. Um, and that's automatic. That's text pattern magic. The other thing you need to know how to do, it, uh, it, I mean, the other optional thing you can learn how to do is more advanced editing of the website. You can access the CSS. I think I'm demonstrating that in a second. Here we go. It's under presentation. Um, and this is the guts of the website. Like the sidebar uh, code, the the search function code, and the CSS of the website. Um, the header, the footer, etc. is all here. And this is more advanced stuff. Um, Brian Blumenthal is the creator of this website um, that set this up. And we often contact him for really technical uh, assistance. But and this is also where you can add a section, which I there's very limited reasons you need to do this, but you can add these are basically categorized as the different um sections of the main navigation bar, the top, like about, inside, etc. Um I'm gonna talk about the links now. Um you can add custom links to your articles. I'll, I'll demonstrate where it's right there um, and this is tricky I'm going to try to show why it's tricky but I, I'm i actually um, it's, it's kind of confusing I'm, I'm demonstrating that um, the rel add link doesn't really need the slash it um, inside slash to the URL. So like choosy.org slash um, leadership slash rel ed goes to the same place as choosy.org slash rel ed. Um, and so there's sometimes issues. But you just kind of roll with them. Like usually they get fixed if you clear your cache on your browser. I'm trying to demonstrate something right now that just doesn't, that I was just wrong about. Okay, so now I'm um, trying to, to find this link. It's not there.